Uh, so recently I was watching a Solheim video here. I love Solheim's content, but um, I had a couple, I guess you'd say I disagree with some of his opinions or his takes that he has in this video, but just kind of wanted to go over those with you guys here. A bit more seasonal discovery in the last couple of weeks. But he basically talks about how he like logged into seasonal discovery early before the patch even went live for phase four. And it's talking about how he thought there'd be more people coming into the game. Getting back in and prepping for phase four and doing the raid every single week because we have an active guild and we're doing the raid every single week. And what I've been seeing is a lot less people have been coming back than what I was hoping for and that I was expecting. I was even there's there's no reason for people to come back early to the game. Like a lot of people aren't hardcore like sweaty that they're gonna come pre-quest i love wow i play a ton of wow and i, I ain't pre-quest and i i come to play and enjoy the game i'm not here try hard in this game i just want to have fun and play even like i was expecting a lot more people to come back for phase four and i was hoping for a lot more people to come back for phase four as well eh? and i just want to say i also there's a lot more people Typically in Ironforge than in Stormwind in Season of Discovery because that's where the main raid was near uh, Nomergon too. So that may be another reason why Stormwind looks a little bit s less populated. I see, it's kind of sad for me to say, but I see more people playing on Classic Era servers than I do on Season of Discovery. That's not even a joke. I'm going to log out right now and show you guys what it looks like on a classic era server. This is Season of Discovery. Not only that, this is Season of Discovery on Living Flame, the most popular, or at least it used to be, I think it still is, the most popular server for Season of Discovery. At least it used to be, like when I played actively. I don't know if that's true, <laughs> which if, if it's populated or not. Um, but also, I don't know how early he logged in, if this is like a day before, a week before, multiple weeks before the drop. Um, if there's nothing to do, there's nothing to do. There also, I'm pretty sure Season of Discovery has phasing. Um, I don't know if this classic era that he's going to jump to has phasing. Of weeks ago, phasing. Like over a month ago now, almost two months ago. Either way, Season of Discovery, Living Flame, Stormwind, Rally okay. Gera, you pretty much have the option. Gonna jump to where he's logging into Firemall. You have a simulated fresh environment happening on Deviate the Light, North America, or Sandalar Tribe on EU, or you can play on Firemall on EU as well, which I'm doing right here few minutes later than Season of Discovery. And this is what Stormwind looks like on Classic Era. Yeah, so obviously there's a lot more people. Um... But you'll see here he actually now, points is, out in classic era you have more servers than one together so if i just look at someone here they might be from a different server than for example um this guy right here yeah this guy's from a completely different server that he's even on so in my opinion this doesn't look like phasing but they're also somehow they phase multiple servers together that's something i wish blizzard would do because you shouldn't have to pay for server transfer. You should be able to go play with any of your friends on whatever server. You shouldn't have, <laughs> you shouldn't have to server change. That shouldn't cost $20, $30. It's just crazy. Um, RuneScape lets you do it for free. You can go on whatever server you want to. It's pretty sweet. Um, but I think this is kind of a, kind of a biased um, compare and contrast here, especially because even with classic era, there's a lot more to do at level 60 in original classic than there is at level 50 in season discovery. That's pretty obvious. Like there's, there's not, there's even let's say classic era was capped at level 50. There's nothing to do at level. Once you get level 50, there's like nothing to do at level 60. There's plenty to do. There's always something to do at level 60 because there's just a massive amount of content. Of course. Um, but yeah, 50 season discovery, there's there's nothing to do unless you're pre-questing for the next phase, which not a lot of people are going to do. I, I literally only installed the game and got my subscription ready less than 24 hours before phase four actually dropped because I'm like, wh why am I going to waste my money, uh, you know, 
before the, pat, the patch even drops. There's nothing for me to do. I, I don't want to come on and pre-quest. I want to play the game when everybody else is playing the game. We're all having fun together. And there's stuff to do. I'm not. I don't feel like I'm wasting my time killing random mobs when I'm. I'm not getting. I'm not even getting experience for it. You know. Um, that's just me personally, though. Um, we're gonna jump to another part of the video here because it is a 26 minute video, and I don't like taking up that much people's time. So now we're at the part of the video where they're talking about all of the new changes coming to the game. Fire end game at level 60 cap and things should really start to hot up here in terms of brand new content and experiencing the vanilla content everyone loves but with classes that work a bit better in comparison to vanilla itself. But to be honest my genuine first response to the video was that although there are some good long term changes in there, I was left simply thinking where is the new stuff? Are the bold and brave decisions that phase 1 brought with it that got us all hyped in the first place? We've had a potential teased new dungeon and maybe a new boss in Molten Core with difficulty adjustments but this is exactly what I've been saying as well in pretty much all of my criticism videos about seasonal discovery and phase four <laughs> where's the new stuff that we were teased when this was announced at blizzcon there is new stuff there's a lot of new stuff there's the new dungeon but you also gotta think that it's not even a month later because i think it's what august 2nd i have to go back and check but that's when the new War Within is coming out. So in my mind, if I was smart and working with Blizzard, I'd be like, okay, let's give them enough content for one month because we know everybody's going to jump over from Season of Discovery back into retail again, and they're going to play the War Within. And then what they're going to do is probably plan out the content for Season of Discovery once they essentially plan for um, the War Within to go down. They're going to come out with Season of Discovery content again. And then... That'll actually, which is really smart because that'll actually give the Season of Discovery team a long enough time to, you know, work out that content, make that content good. Like expecting them to drop a ton of new content all at once there is, I mean, not only is it kind of crazy, but it's un unrealistic there too. They're completely remaking, essentially, you know, they're remaking the game. They're remaking the whole experience. They're adding new experiences there. They've obviously had to re-go and redesign, um, rebalance all of the gear, the mobs there, especially in the raids. Um, and it's actually a really small team that's working on the season of Discovery. In my opinion, these guys have been doing, doing really good. Um, <laughs> and so many people hate this. I, I know Zaryu talks about this all the time, but he's like, it's vanilla like stop saying it's just a test like it it is just a test though it's just, there's just a handful of devs working on this game and they're testing out and seeing what different things work so who knows maybe this might turn into the real classic plus that everybody was wanting and it's not actually a test and this will continue or who knows maybe at the end of vanilla you know, we're not going to go into TBC or Classic Plus. They're going to totally start over all over again. And we'll have real Classic Plus and start over from level one again. Who knows? I mean, I'm good either way. Because at the end of the day, the people that are making this game are the same people just like me and you. But <laughs> a lot of the squeakiest wheels on the World of Warcraft go-kart are the guys that play... 16 hours a day that you know the people that are making this game they make it out of the passion but still at the end of the day they want to go home to their family to their friends you know maybe to their other hobbies they don't world of warcraft isn't their blood and everything else there like it may be for some people where you know all all my life is is world of warcraft no it's it's more than that Where's my Scarlet Halls raid? What about the portents of Uldum that they also talked about? Where's Karasan Crypts? It'd be all really cool things. That they also kind of teased. But I think that, you know, they can stagger stagger these things still to come out. We could go through, you know, do because I feel like people, people would be mad. Like, say if they actually did release Karasan Crypts, say, we're not getting Molten Core. You're not getting Molten Core at all. You're going right to Carriers and Crips. No more Molten Core. All. 
all of you vanilla andes will be like oh what this isn't classic where's molten core dude i want to do molten core they'd be freaking out man <laughs> so <laughs> gotta have some give and take here they're trying to give the vanilla classic andes what they want and give the people that actually want to see some change in the game what they want at the same time and someone's always going to someone's always going to be upset someone's always going to be upset we'll jump to another piece of the video here in just a sec that they also talked about where's karasan crypt that they also kind of teased where's all the new stuff you might say that <laughs> sure now we're at the level 60 phase and they might add the new stuff in phase seven or phase eight at which point it's yeah. too late no it's literally too late <laughs> no. you should give us some of the new stuff now and make e but, what do you mean give you the new stuff now they gave you new stuff <laughs> slowly this guy wants everything all at once I want everything that you guys said I was going to get, and I want it now. Even more. <laughs> Let's be realistic, man. You're not going to be able to get all that done in one month. They're staggering out this content. They can't create it all at one time, man. Come on. New stuff in phase seven and phase eight. But if you're teasing new stuff, we're eight months in. We want a smaller taste of new stuff. They're giving you a new dungeon. There's a little small taste for you. And more of a taste than the um whatever the featherwood thing is i don't know is that it realistically phase four should be as big as phase one phase one was the brand new introduction to season of discovery bringing about a true feeling of being in the vanilla world but in an experimental and new exciting take on things to reinvigorate players who although want to stay in the classic world also want something brand new in vanilla much like fans of old school runescape who have seen you stay true to the classic world whilst adding new content and phase four is the what was so big about phase one that's not big about phase four it's phase one they added runes they uh i don't think we even had discoverer's delight did we no originally you have it now but not originally during phase one yeah you have the new runes and you have the new new raid they converted a dungeon to a raid so really they, they haven't even yeah, they haven't even remade content, technically, or they haven't made new content. They remade content that was already existing. So that's like a classic Blizzard thing is take an old mount and turn it into a new mount, put a new skin on it, and call it good. That's something WoW does, but well, that's okay. <laughs> we're developing our characters. We need, to be, we need to know that the time we're putting in is worth putting in. Because we're not just here for Molten Core. We're here for the phases after as well. You don't know if your time is worth putting into a video game? Bro, it's a video game, man. And um, I feel like a lot of people might be <sighs> underwhelmed with what they have put into Phase 4. And therefore also preemptively feeling underwhelmed about future phases. It's just, um, if they don't deliver on phase 4, why would they deliver on phase 5? Or what? <laughs> Again, this just goes back to like, are we just supposed to skip Molten Core and just go straight to new content? We're forgetting everything that happened between all that. No Molten Core, no Blackwing Lair. No nothing, no Nax. None of that, no AQ. We're just gonna skip it all. <laughs> That's what I don't understand. Like, I want my content and I want it now. Everything needs to be new. And then you also have these guys like, this isn't classic anymore, dude. There's too much new stuff around here. This isn't classic. What the heck? I thought this was supposed to be classic, but better. But there's a bunch of new stuff here. What is this? This is garbage. <laughs> That's all I hear from like anybody's videos nowadays. <laughs> you're not changing enough, but you're changing too much. It's crazy to me. <laughs> Again, 
if you want to know if you're wasting your time playing a video game, yes. Yes, you are. Absolutely. You could say anything in life is a waste of your time. But we're not going to get that. We're not going to get that deep. <laughs> Oh man. Alright, what well, this guy says here is really important. The underwhelming approach continues, the more it seems a little too late. Now, maybe from a development point of view for Season of Discovery, it makes entire sense. Keep things pretty safe and focus on class changes and itemization. Getting things right. Seeing how this performs in Endgame by tweaking some of the vanilla raids that already exist, and then bank all the huge exciting content for a future Classic Plus project. And while I'd say long term, that does make a lot of sense. But to me, still, this announcement is it makes sense there's a, people always have to have something to complain about if life was perfect they'd still find something to complain about so give the people what they want you know in particular in the content reflecting for phase four especially after the long slog that phase three has been isn't quite enough to keep me fully engaged and i will that's probably okay. get to level 60 at some point but that's purely because i enjoy the class adjustments of ret paladin and i like classic well yeah. i probably won't be committing myself to any form of regular raiding or playing season of discovery all that much from here and out because there's other stuff to play there's other stuff to play there's other games to play go outside and touch grass a lot of other things to do. Go and talk to some girls, maybe. Ooh. They went with the one where they, where they put in a lot of changes, but they didn't put in a lot of the important changes. <laughs> and they're focusing on taking what we currently have and tweaking it, but also adding new stuff that nobody asked for. Like what? Give us... If you're gonna go down that route, route, give us ten brand new dungeons. See which ones people like, which ones people don't like. Just do more, more new stuff, not just rehashed old stuff. New stuff, potence of Uldum, Mount Hydral. If you think about it, they've added a lot, a lot of stuff within the eight months. Um, because how long does it take them to make a whole expansion? A very long time um one thing that does really bother me <laughs> about watching this video is like he doesn't give us any context behind his like thought process he's like he won't give us the new stuff like give a give us give us an example like of of what needs to happen like yeah we've blizzards changed stuff but what thing we're prom or <laughs> here it is he said adding new stuff nobody asked for what was the new stuff that nobody asked for like give us examples of that that's what i'm talking about what i want to know what, what you're talking about because you can just say new stuff nobody asked for it's new stuff that you didn't ask for doesn't necessarily mean somebody else didn't want it there Give us, if you're gonna go down that route, route, give us 10 brand new dungeons, see which ones people like, which ones people don't like, just do more, more new stuff, not just rehashed old stuff, new stuff, potent. And I, I agree with that, they're, they're rehashing a lot of old stuff, that's Blizzard's main go to, um, but I'm, I'm almost positive that. The reason that they rehash stuff, especially for Season of Discovery, is to make it easier to give them more time to be working on the more important changes that they've done at level 60. Stuff that we haven't seen yet. We're, it's going to be a while until we see it, most likely. Like the new dungeon that we're getting now. That is a brand new dungeon. Brand new. It's not rehashed at all. The zone itself is kind of rehashed there but i mean it's stuff that i've actually never experienced in classic myself going through the uh, burnt scar area where rom hell scream and manoroth was like i'd never been there when i played classic never there was no reason to go there really unless maybe you were the different faction that i didn't play but you know to be doing experiments for a few so here he's talking about blizzard should do experiments that we actually want to see true classic plus Experiment on the things we want to see. Put in high elves. Put in goblins. Yeah, there's already goblins in retail. And we have night elves. We have blood elves. Blood elves were the high elves. 
Like, we don't need any more new races. I feel like <laughs> that's one thing I hate about retail. There's so many races. Like, there's no point to have that many races. Focus on the gameplay. We don't need more races. Make the game better. Having me having different characters to play that don't affect my gameplay at all, that's not going to make the game any better, man. Like, <laughs> those aren't changes that I want to see personally. Maybe you want to see them maybe, but if you want to, if you want goblins, go play retail, dude. That's, those aren't the changes we want in classic, man. Something like that, like two brand new races, right? We don't need that. Starting zones as something else than goblins in Kata, for example. We want to see those things, brand new things, potence of Uldum, Uldum itself, Grimbat Hall, Mount Hydral. We want to see those things. How do the developers? put in brand new content new dungeons new raids new zones new quest lines how do they put those into wow and they put in they put in the new dungeon they put in a ton of new quest lines with runes tons make it make sense and tailor it together with classic wow but also give you new stuff without making it like too different <laughs> isn't doesn't that contradict itself we want new stuff, but don't make it too different. It's kind of like they're experimenting on how to play basketball, but they're doing it by playing soccer. If you're going to learn... That doesn't make any sense. ...how to play basketball, play basketball. <laughs> you guys are remaking WoW. Well. You guys are remaking WoW well by playing Fortnite. If this is the route they want to go for Classic Plus, I don't want it. I simply don't. That's fine. Actually starting with this supposed hidden dungeon they're adding in Phase 4. But we need some hype to build and to capture some key interest for more than just vanilla or classic players who enjoy Molten Core. Whether that's a stretch of new dungeons or new raids, I really don't mind either way. I mean, go really crazy. Instead of Naxxramas being a raid, it could be redeveloped into five new dungeon wings like Scarlet Monastery. I that wouldn't be too bad honestly it wouldn't really be too bad and another thing like i want to convey is like i'm just sharing my opinions solheim is too so is this guy um but like there's it, it always just feels like there's just so much negativity that just goes around and around and around and you don't ever hear any of the positives like people nobody <laughs> nobody like you know cheers the devs on tell them they're doing a good job there's there's none of that you don't ever see that like i wish there was a way to like give back to show our appreciation to the people that are doing these jobs there because you know i'm sure it's not easy and all they all they do is probably hear all the negative things there and imagine if you're working your job and all you hear is negative things about how you're doing your job the whole time is that going to make you want to do your job? Like, is that going to make you want to do better all the time? I'm sure it could motivate you sometimes, but like, if you just keep putting out stuff and nobody likes it, like, you're, you're not going to, that, that's so, dem, that eventually is going to be demotivational. Um, especially if you think about like, what, what actually promotes, you know, a good worth eth work ethic, like, you want to tell people they're appreciated that you know the work that they done that are doing is being seen is being appreciated there like that's the biggest thing that i want to fight is just all the negativity on all this kind of stuff that's where i like i try to play a little bit of a devil's advocate when it comes to these types of things like you know these people are human beings just like us and so many people are just they just tear everything down like this isn't good enough like, you know, these guys are, in my opinion, they're doing really well. Season Discovery could be so much worse, man. It could be so much worse. Like, they could, they could be making it into retail wow there. And I know nobody wants that. Nobody wants that. I'm out, and once again, really good video. And I'm really happy to see that people share the same mindset that I have, and have had now for... Well, ever since the content drought of Phase 3, like at the start of Phase 3, I really enjoyed Phase 3, but it really started falling off, and Phase 4 hasn't managed to grab my attention back and get me super, super hyped. It really hasn't, and... There's only like two months, two or three months in between 
not even three months in between phase three and phase four. It really hasn't even been that long. I will play phase four and I will be playing it a lot more casually than I have been playing previous phases, but I think that will help me enjoy the phase more as well, especially long term. So playing it more casually and just approaching it with a more reserved mindset, instead of going in screaming phase 4 hype everywhere that I can, on the forums, YouTube comments, like being on Twitter, loving Agwen 24-7 saying phase 4 hype, phase 4 hype, instead of being that guy, I am going to be going in with a i don't know what to say like i'm i'm not hyped but i'm also not trying to hate i'm just trying to go in and have fun good without expecting anything i think that's the yeah. best way for me to put it i'm going to go in you should go into everything without any expectations i'm gonna tell you right now that's the best way to live life keep your hopes up but don't have any expectations because you have any if you if you keep your expectations high you're just going to disappoint yourself every single time. And other people will disappoint you too if you have expectations for them. Keep your hopes up high. But don't have any expectations for anything. And you'll live a happy life. Try to have fun, but expect nothing. That's the mindset I'm going to go into phase 4 with. No expectations high hopes or semi high hopes and try to have fun and overall i do hope that anyone who plays phase 4 has a good time whether you're playing it 24 hours a day two hours a day 30 minutes per day five hours per day no matter how much you play i hope you have a good time and ultimately i want seasonal discovery to be as good as it can be i just think that for me it's made a lot of wrong decisions incursions was one of them but a lot of other things as well has it, it, it's that's another thing about like they want <laughs> to have been so much that oh, has happened, which i don't tem I, I don't personally like i really don't for example the whole there's so many things now so many runes to get so many systems in place it's starting to remind me a lot of retail where when you start you have a lot of hurdles to jump through before the game becomes fun and they have tried to help you level faster in season discovery which to me might be the wrong catch-up mechanic because leveling in classic wow is really important it's one of the most important things in classic wow is a world around you incursions completely killed the world around you and then they made you level faster as well to the point where you spend less time in the world around you something i would like to see is instead of focusing on catch-ups being focused on leveling at the the speed of light and uh, stuff like that i would love to see rune catch-ups reputation catch-ups rune catch-ups runes aren't hard to get <laughs> and that's new content there's new there's quest lines for you to do and you're talking about them making leveling too fast but literally leveling and classic it takes forever like to get the zip from level one to level 60 would take like a normal person like two months maybe longer like it's not realistic for your average person you if you play world of warcraft 16 hours a day you probably want to level super slow so that you have something to do for the rest of your life <laughs> but most people don't want that and the runes are fun like going and getting the runes that's new content that stuff's fun and some of those rooms they make you go between continent to continent just like a classic world of warcraft quest would maybe I don't some know. end game catch-ups as well like end game loot catch-ups i don't know something like that instead of the the catch-up they put in place now is speeding Wait. end game loot catch-ups what you to max level like at the speed of light to max level and then you have to jump through the hurdles i would rather take I like the leveling to be fast because then you can level more characters, especially for the people that don't have any time on their hands to actually play the game. And the people that have sort of kind of a lot of time to play a game, that's where I might put myself because I can definitely get a character to max level, but I'm definitely not going to be able to get two characters to max level. I had a I had a girlfriend break up with me during the original classic release. Dump me. <laughs> because I was leveling up in classic. Well, because it took so dang long, 
I was trying to catch up to everybody else so that I could go raid Molten Core and <laughs> ended up losing my relationship because it took too long to level. And I had to grind like a mofo to get caught up to everybody because they were already level 60 and I was lagging behind. Didn't even have any of my gear yet to be able to even get in the raid, man. And like, who cares if you can get all the way to level 60 really fast? Go play another character. For real though. Go, you can play multiple. Why, do, why does everybody else's experience have to be drowned out because it's too fast for you? Just because it's too fast for you doesn't mean everybody else is having that same experience. Other people will want to play the game too. But that's just my opinion, I don't know. I'm leveling, learn my class, get some runes one by one, and get immersed into the gameplay, and also like get not just immersed, but you put in time, to the point where you develop a connection to the, the world around you, to your character, and you feel more attached. And then speed me through the hurdles. Speed If you're gonna put in catch-ups, help me catch up faster on runes, instead of leveling. For example, that would keep the old world leveling relevant, and you would spend more time getting more attached to your character, and then once you're level 50 or like level 60 in phase 4, you could get into raids faster and have all your runes faster. As an example. So like the rune acquisition system has just been painful because there's like what 30 runes per class now, and some of them are really You don't have to get every single rune. Like if you're a druid, you don't have to get the there's four different specs you could be you don't have to go get every single one of them they take a long time to go through like the dark riders for example stuff like that if you're a completionist you're a completionist the dark rider thing is one of the coolest quests you could go do ruins locked behind reputations but my dog Root hates quests. when i yell there's just so many things that look behind to the point where when you get to max level you have to spend a day or two only gathering runes before you can finally play the game they have a day or two of doing new content. Either way, small rant over, really good video by Smooth Jazz, and um, I don't think, like, to, to answer the title, has Seasonal Discovery become too boring? I don't think so. I think it's become too complicated. That Now it's too complicated? Are you just saying there's not enough new content? That's just for me, um, it's become too complicated and um, I guess maybe too boring, like not that fun, but more so complicated, I've been having loads of fun. complicated than boring. They're putting in systems, too many systems, like if you play retail and, cat and classic, one of the things people say, what systems are they putting in? say about retail is that you level too fast and there's too many systems. Well, yeah, retail, there's definitely too many systems. There's like 20 different currency vendors. What is seasonal discovery right now? There's a lot of systems, and then you also have the... What systems? I want to know what systems are going on. Catch-ups in leveling, to the point where you level up fast. It's retail light. It's retail light. I did not want that. It it's not retail light, dude. There's no looking for group. There's no, there's no raid finder. Once there's looking for a group in raid finder, then we can say it's retail light. All right. Brother man. Either way, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I would love to see them. Either way, that's a Anyways, we appreciate Solheim. I hope you didn't take any offense or anything from my video. Um, I love your content. If you do, if you do see this, you're awesome, dude. Um, obviously, I disagree with you on some points there. We definitely agree on some different things. We both want a bunch of new content. Um, I just don't think it's all going to come out at one time. We got to wait for it. There's also, there's, there's like four different WoWs now. There's Classic, Vanilla, Kata, Retail. Wait, yeah. Classic WoW. SOD, Retail, Cataclysm. It's four or five. I don't know. I'm losing track now. There's too many. Oh, yeah, and Mop. That's five. At least. If not six. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, wait, they released Classic twice now, right? I don't know. <laughs> oh my god, this is a 34 minute video. What have I done? I did not mean to make it this long. I've never talked this much in my life. If you guys actually watch this, I really appreciate it. <laughs> Probably going to be a lot of angry comments down there. But I appreciate you guys anyways. Y'all have a good day. <laughs>